Today I'm going to share with you a much requested video, which is my handheld lighting setup. This is something I've done in a video a while back and you all had a lot of questions about how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a camera cage and without. So first the cage, you're going to need a camera cage that fits your camera and also has various mounting points because in a minute you'll see which ones we're going to use. I'm using one from Condor Blue. I highly recommend them. They're great. I will link it down in the description. You can find one likely for your camera. Next is the iFootage spider crab arm. This is what really makes it possible, we're going to attach this to the camera cage. We do this using the quick releases that come with the iFootage arm. And I'm going to use the three quarter mount with the RE locking pins here on the side of the camera as these quick releases have RE pins so that way you can keep it from twisting. This is just another great way to have some security with your setup. So lock it down nice and tight and then put the camera to the side. Then take the second quick release that comes on the other end of the arm and attach it to whatever light you wanna use. In this case, I'm just gonna use this one from June. This is a 20 watt RGB light. It's a very powerful light, comes with diffusion. It also has a grid and it even has barn doors. So this is a really handy battery operated setup. Once we have the quick release attached, you basically slide it into the arm, lock it in place, clamp it down. Now we have our light attached to our spider crab arm. And that means this end, it's gonna go onto the quick release that we just attached to our camera. It really is very simple. You just put it in, twist it, lock it down. Now, of course, we're not gonna want the, the light to stick out this far to the side. So luckily the spider crab has articulating joints where we can move it into whatever position we want. I typically like it where the camera is pointed at my subject and the light is coming at a 45 degree angle to the subject. The other great thing about this spider crab arm is that it also extends. So we can get a lot out of this if we really needed to. In this case, I don't need that much. So I'm just gonna put it about that far, <laughs> clamp it down. And there you can see we've got ourselves a pretty interesting handheld rig. So if I were to go out shooting with this, I can literally hold this whole camera setup in my hand. It's lightweight. And yes, if I try to hold it from the top, it will fall to the side. So you do have to double hand it. But honestly, this is a really great setup to get not just straight on lighting that normally happens if you have the light right over the camera, just blasting them in the face. This gives directionality and is so easy to switch where the light is. If you really want it straight on for flattering lighting like that, you could change it or pop it to the side or whatever you wanna do. The other great thing is, is that because these have quick release tabs, you can literally pop it off. If you don't want that light anymore, take another light, pop it in, and you're ready to go with an entirely new setup. Now, of course, it's highly dependent on the light that you choose. Now, this one doesn't have a battery in it, but it is USB-C powered. So if you have the camera cage, you can attach a small little power bank power the light and have yourself a little portable, well-lit handheld rig. So that's the camera cage option. Obviously some people might not want to buy a camera cage for some reason, or they just want a lighter setup. So here's a solution for you. All you need is a cold shoe to NATO rail extender. This is one from Condor Blue. Once again, I'll link everything down in the description. This is not sponsored by the way. I just use Condor Blue a lot. All you do is take the NATO rail extension, put it on, tighten it down. Yes, I'm using a contour blue tool. If you're interested, I have a whole video on this. Next, you're going to use a NATO rail handle. This one is also from Condor Blue. That's because it has the attachment points that I like with the RE locking pins. Take the handle, slide it onto the NATO rail, and then you just lock it down. So now you have yourself a really nice handle, by the way. So if you're just interested in a handle for your camera, you don't want a whole cage. This is something I have done and it works pretty good. But now we need to get our light attached to this camera. So once again, we take the quick release from iFootage and we go ahead and attach it onto the top of the handle here, since that's where the attachment point is. Then we take our light rig, attach it, clamp it down, adjust our light so it's pointed in the direction that we want. I definitely recommend having two hands as usual. Hold the bottom of the camera, hold the arm, whatever you're gonna do. Kind of go around, get your shot, do whatever you're gonna do. But this is how you do it without getting a complicated camera rig involved. And once again, you can still do the same thing as before. You can keep switching out your lights. You could swap it in for a microphone. You can honestly do whatever you want with this. This is just the odd and unique way that I've decided to do it. Another way I've done it in the past is to use the iFootage clamp and just clamp it onto a camera plate that's attached to the bottom of your camera, clamp it onto the edge, and then attach your arm to the clamp. So those are the ways that I rig up a light to my camera to get a solo one-man band lighting camera setup. It works great, 
super awesome and you look kind of weird and cool at the same time doing it. If you enjoy this video, let me know. Everything is linked down in the description. Try this weird and wacky way out for yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video.